guys, it's Legomatic9, and to be frank, I'm kind of sick of this gray background. It's just, no, this is my bad oh, shit. So guys, we did it. We reached the end of 2018. 2018 was an all right year for the most part, but I'm not gonna lie, in terms of this channel, it could have been a little better. I always felt like viewership was down, even though I was gaining subscribers at the usual rate, and part of that was probably the YouTube algorithm changing up, but I feel like it was most likely due to the content I made this year. I feel like I could have done more and done better, and I hope I can redeem myself in some sort of way next year. Now for 2018, I don't think I really made a lot, like this amount of figures doesn't seem like it's that much compared to the previous years, but here are all of the figures I made this year. Now some are missing, such as my Doctor Strange, Iron Spider, and Vulture. Uh, those were commissions for some of my friends, so they're not here obviously. Uh, but let's just go ahead and take a quick overview of what I made. First off, I made a new Sig Fig, which I'm really proud of. Uh, I made my Attack of the Clones figures and my Phantom Menace figures. I've got Solo figures next. Got that Garfield that Dylan made me. <laughs> <laughs> and I included that in here just because that is my favorite custom figure I own pretty much. I've got some Revenge of the Sith figures up there. Got Star Lord, Destiny Hunter. I've got my Game of Thrones figures. Captain Miller up top. Hannibal Burris, Logic, Chance the Rapper. And then down here, I've got the Beatles, and I have my Freddie Mercury. So again, not that much compared to previous years, but I am really proud of what I did make. Let me get this back in focus. All right. This year also marked my uh, my 10 year anniversary on YouTube. So if you haven't, please check out my 10 year anniversary video. I put a lot of time and effort into that and would really appreciate it if you guys would check that out. Now, like I said in that video, thank you guys so much for a wonderful 10 years in this community. I'm eternally grateful for all of your guys' support. Now, I can't really remember what I would talk about in this video, like the end of the year type video, and I don't really want to ramble on and bore you guys, so I put together a short little segment on my top 10 custom minifigures I made this year, and they're my personal favorites. Uh, so before we get to that, I didn't include any of my Revenge of the Sith figures since I haven't posted them yet, so I'll include them in next year's list since I'm really proud of how they're turning out. Anyways, let's get right to it. Before we get on to the actual top 10, I want to give an honorable mention to this right here, Padme's gun. I worked way too damn hard on this thing for this to not even get a mention in this video. So here it is right here. Now we can go ahead and get on to the actual top 10. At number 10, I have Captain Miller from Saving Private Ryan. Now, this guy isn't one of my best figures I've made, but I had a lot of fun going back to making some custom LEGO World War II things, and I really liked the helmet on this guy. At number 9 is Chewbacca from Solo A Star Wars Story. I think this is the best Chewbacca that I've made out of the three that I've made, I think. I can't really remember at this point, it's been so many. But I really liked how the sculpt turned out on this guy, and I'm really pleased with how this bandolier looks on this guy. And also, Dylan kind of told me this guy had to be on my list, so I threw him in at number 9. At number 8, I have Paul McCartney. I wanted to have one of my Beatles figures on here, and they're all pretty simple, so that's why Paul's pretty low on this list, but he was my favorite out of the bunch that I made, so that's why he's at number 8. At number 7 is Darth Maul from The Phantom Menace. This guy would be higher, but I just wasn't entirely pleased with how the face turned out on him. Yeah, I think it did a pretty good job with the actual paintwork, but I feel like since I went over just the actual Lego print instead of painting my own face entirely, that the eyes are like way too close together and they're pretty small so that's one of the things i'm going to change for my clone wars version of maul but i really do like how the cloth work on this guy is and then also i'm really proud of how the horns turned out on him and he also kind of inspired a wave of maul figures in the lego community during the summer at number six is Arya stark from game of thrones i'm really pleased with how the paintwork on her torso turned out as well as the hair sculpt the only thing I don't really like about this figure is her sword needle isn't as accurate as it could be, so that's why she's at number six and not higher. So now we're getting into the top five. Starting that off at number five is Chance the Rapper. Now Chance here I think has the best likeness that I've ever painted on a Lego figure, so I'm really proud of that, as well as the hat and hair combination on him. And then topping that off is the edit that Sander and I made that we then had printed on some tiles by Fig Factory. So that is really cool. Really like this guy, but the reason why he's not any higher is because he is a little simple compared to all, to all of the other ones. So there is Chance. 
At number four is the Destiny 1 Hunter collaboration I did with Sander. If this thing was entirely my sculpt, then this would probably be at number one. But since Sander did most of it, that's why I bumped it down a few notches. He did a great job on the sculpt, and I think I did a pretty good job with the paintwork and my sculpt. And I really like how the Vision of Confluence scout rifle turned out. But just because it's not 100% me is why it's a little lower. But I really do love how this guy turned out. Some of you may disagree with this, but at my number three, I put my Lando Calrissian from Solo, A Star Wars Story. This guy is pretty basic, but, you know, I just have a soft spot for it for some reason. I don't know if it's just the colors or just the fact that it was Donald Glover playing Lando. I don't really know, but I just really love how this figure turned out. In my number two spot, I have Jon Snow from Game of Thrones. Now, before, I didn't like this figure that much, and it was mainly because of the hair. The hair sculpt I did was just not good. I don't really know what I was thinking. I had a few people say in the comments of that video, like, dude, that hair sculpt is so bad. Why did you use it? And I was like, nah, it's fine. But recently, I went back and I made a new hair sculpt form using the Mad-Eye Moody hair from the Harry Potter collectible minifigures and just sculpted a little Widow's Peak on there and then painted it up in black and it looks much better. It makes me like this figure a lot more. I can actually really appreciate this guy, so that's why he's now in my number two spot. My absolute favorite figure that I made this year in the number one spot is Django Fett. I just worked so hard on the sculpt on this guy and I think it turned out great. And I absolutely love the paintwork on this guy. So that's why he is my number one favorite figure of this year. If you guys have any other figures that you think should have made this list, go ahead and leave those down in the comments. And if you guys agree with some of my spots, let me know. If you guys disagree, let me know. So yeah, that is it for my top 10 favorite custom minifigures that I made in 2018. All right, that'll do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thanks to all you who stuck around with me for another year. Now, I haven't really had the time to think about what projects I want to tackle for 2019, but Revenge of the Sith will be, of course, the very first one. Then I plan on having a big video for Game of Thrones for its final season in April. And then other projects I'm thinking about are Star Wars The Clone Wars, Episode 9, The Traveling Wilburys, The Walking Dead, maybe, and whatever else I become interested in throughout the year. Again, thank you guys so much and have a very happy new year.